Good morning from Nicosia in Cyprus. We are starting our day out at a market and then we're going to learn how to cook the Cyprian, Cy Cyprian food. Cyprian food? <laughs> Cyprian way. All right, so to clarify, we are at Bandabulia Market. I believe it was founded in 1932. We are in the northern side of Cyprus. We'll get into the history a little bit more in a later video, but it's important to note that this right here, the barbed wire fence behind me, is actually the border between North and South Cyprus. In fact, the gate that we're standing in right here was specifically commissioned by the leaders in the city to allow the sale of pork to the Greek side back in the day before this border was closed. So this gate was built specifically for Greeks to enter the market, while the other side was more Turkish. We came to this marketplace where there's stuff everywhere, but it's pretty early in the morning, so it's pretty empty and not everything's open. It's really cool being here at this time. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Before we start cooking, we have to wash our hands, and this is just, you know, down the way. She's using olive oil soap made by a craftsman here at Bandabulia. Bandabulia actually means the place you can get everything. So cool. She gave us our chef clothes. We're going to put our aprons on and get started. is a unique type of food because it's a mix of two different cultures, the Turkish culture and the Greek culture, which is really neat. Today we're going to start by making dolma, and it's going to be a vegetarian dolma, and we're going to use these yummy little flowers. What are those flowers? I think they're pumpkin. Are they pumpkin flowers? Zucchini? Zucchini flowers. Yeah, zucchini flowers, which I love. In fact, you had those in Mexico a lot in your quesadilla. I love it. It's so good. Fiasco, cutting stuff up. Can you do it like that? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad she showed me first. <laughs> I can do that. It's easy. Yeah, yeah, that's it's easy. easy. <laughs> the, our last cooking class in Mexico, I cut the fish wrong. And the lady didn't tell me how to cut it first, mm -hmm. but I didn't go with the grain of the fish. Yeah. And then after I cut it, she was like, oh, that's wrong. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> she said I failed. And then I was sad. <laughs> The ingredients so far for Yaranje Dola, or Liar's Dola, <laughs> Liar's Stuffed, because there's no meat in it. We've got tomatoes, rice, onion, Ashley's cutting up some mint, and then we also have our zucchini flowers. Is there anything else? Lots of lemon juice and spices still to come. My hands are gonna smell so good with this mint <laughs> all over them. I heard rumblings that we're making Turkish tzatziki. It's called the jajuk. It's like a yogurt and mint and cucumber and garlic and I don't know Ah, yum. You do You cannot do this. You cannot be married. It's a good thing I'm already married. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're going to wrap up all the ingredients in grape leaves and this is actually something that you can find throughout the Mediterranean but this specific dish is Cyprian and that's what makes it special. Delicious dolma! to island time we have our dolma simmering to give you lots of time to relax or maybe catch up on things you know don't don't rush it it's gonna be simmering for about two hours and the same goes for pretty much all the cooking here we've been told we're going to use special potatoes I was told that 
England or the English buy the potatoes from here because they're super sweet and they're supposed to be really, really good fried. So that's what we're gonna do. So that famous meme guy that does the salt throwing, he's Turkish. Yeah. I didn't yeah, know that. we just learned that he's Turkish. Okay, we've been peeling potatoes for another dish. Which dish are the potatoes for? Just that's it, English. Yeah, that's English. Yeah, no. Oh, try that one. Kubras Kaptisi. Kubras Kaptisi. Okay, so Cyprian Cyprian meatballs with no meat. So anyways, while we've been cutting the potatoes, she's been preparing an olive-based bread. I, it's got flour in it, it's got yeast and salt and all that, but I think olive is one of the main ingredients. Authentic. We did a good job. And delicious. <laughs> and delicious. And do you know how to say bon appetit? No. How do you say bon appetit again? Afiet osun. Afiet osun. Afiet osun. So we're going to say afiet al osun. Yeah. Afiet osun. It's like bon appetit. <laughs> Which is like bon appetit. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Can you say the names of each of the dishes for me? Kupris koftesi. Judge. Oh wow! Adam. Adam. Helimli ekmek. Helimli ekmek. Yalancı dolma. Yalancı dolma. Kızarmış helim. Kızarmış helim. 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 So it's like a modern version of yeah. an old, an old style. Helim kane. Helim kane. It's like a mozzarella cheese stick, but made with their local Cyprian cheese. Yeah, fried cheese with fried bread, a uh, breaded on the outside. Yes. Dig in, uh, bon appetit in Turkish. Afiyet olsun. Afiyet olsun. leftovers. How you feel about that? Wow, we had so much food and I am stuffed. But she's putting it in the gold thing for us to take it home with us. <laughs> Don't they say you're not supposed to eat for like three hours before you go swimming? Yeah. Oops. Time for an afternoon dip. In, in the, the ocean. ocean. In the infinity pool. Ooh. And down a water slide. Let's have some dinner now. Right, we've been asked to join our friends for dinner. We're really excited. It's going to be a traditional meal, so let's eat. <laughs> you get like tapas, and just a billion tapas. <laughs> Our table is filling up super fast. What do you call this in, in, in I guess, Cyprian? How do, you, how do you say this? Meza. Oh, meza, yeah, that's right, that's right. This is the real stuff, not uzo. Golden series, raki. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's been he's been dissing on our ouzo that we like from Greece. He's like, no, this is the good stuff right here. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I like ouzo too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you put the raki first. You put the water second. The the, the order of this uh -huh. actually is quite different in different cultures, different countries. Yeah. 
Hey. In Turkey. Yeah, in Turkey. Right. Josh is really doing this. She's like doing it the same level as me. Yeah, so. I'm keeping up. <laughs> so, bro. Is this three or four Rocky? I don't know. This is the fourth one. All right, so this is your last one, I guess, before yeah. the dessert. So I'm going to be doing it uh, like the thick way, the way the Turkish okay. does it. Yeah, yeah, a little double. A double, yeah. double, double. Boy in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Ah, safe and sound in our cozy little hotel. What a wonderful day. It was so busy, so good. Thank yeah. you so much for the really amazing cooking lessons. We yeah. are so excited. We're getting those recipes, so I'll see what I can do about sharing them with you guys down below. Also, thank you so much to Zet and his beautiful wife for going out for dinner tonight. That was us. amazing. Was They're so actually the owners of Go North Cyprus who are basically hosting this entire trip for us. Yeah. So if you are looking for a trip to North Cyprus, check them out. And uh, down below. Sure, why yeah. not? Let's do that. So WayFam, I hope we encouraged you to get there and travel today. We are stuffed happy, full, and tired it's in North Cyprus. It's 11.30 at night, and we have to get up at four o'clock in the morning so that we can go fishing tomorrow, which I'm so excited for. Pray for some really big tuna for us, which is what we'll be fishing. We'll see you in the next video. Adios, Bay fam. Adios, dang it. Gule, gule. <laughs> gule, gule. I think that works here. <laughs> yeah.